Coast League is coming up next. And a good Saturday night, everybody, and welcome to Pacific Coast League Baseball. Tonight is the second game of our four-game series between the visiting San Antonio Missions and your Omaha Storm Chasers. Triple-A affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. <clears throat> Two teams continue the series tomorrow afternoon at 2.05. Don't forget the San Antonio Missions will wrap up their seven-game homestand after Monday's game, beginning at 11.05 at Storm Chasers. Missions return back on the road as they will take on a seven-game homestand, beginning the three-game series with the visiting Iowa Cubs and a four-game set against the visiting Omaha Storm Chasers. Missions on the road after the seven-game homestand. They will take the road to Oklahoma City in a in a four-game series, oh, excuse me, five-game set, five-game set at Oklahoma City. Missions will be on the road as they will take on the Nashville Sounds, AAA affiliate of the Texas Rangers, and on Friday, May the 8th, the San Antonio Missions will play host the Memphis Redbirds, AAA affiliate of the St. Louis Cardinals. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. You can also download the First Pitch app from Minor League Baseball. And you can download that in any smartphone. <clears throat> so 7 o'clock at partly cloudy skies as we have Pacific Coast League Baseball here on Minor League Baseball Network. And here is the starting lineups for tonight's game. First for the visiting San Antonio Missions. Leading off is the designated hitter, Sammy Sargent. Domingo Zapata will be at third base. Zapata at third. Robert White will be at second base for the missions. White in second. Batting fourth is the Tyler Austin. He'll be at first base. Tyrone Taylor will be in center field. Taylor in center. Batting sixth is the left fielder, Ben Gamble. Batting seventh is the right fielder, Jeremy Hawkins. And batting eighth is the shortstop, Tyler Saladino. Saladino in short. And batting ninth is the catcher and cleanup batter, Reggie Humphreys. Humphreys catching and taking the mound for the San Antonio Missions, Freddy Peralta. Peralta on the mound for San Antonio. <clears throat> and now here is your home team, your Omaha Storm Chasers. Batting first for the Storm Chasers, first baseman Nelson Chin. Batting second, the shortstop Humberto Ortega. Batting third, the center fielder. 
Curtis McCauley. Batting fourth, the right fielder, Jorge Bonifacio. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Pedro Melendez. Batting sixth, the left fielder, Charles Sato. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. And batting eighth, the catcher, Andrew Susak. Batting ninth, the second baseman, Chris Wood. And taking the mound for the starter pitcher for the Omaha Storm Chasers, Jesse Hahn. Hahn on the mound for Omaha. And that is tonight's starting lineup. We are under the lights this evening and, uh, as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. A good matchup here for you tonight between the San Antonio Missions and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Number 32, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, one of the things you look for in a pitcher, Matty, is movement on the fastball. Jesse and this guy has Hawk. great run on his fastball. What does that mean? On his arm side, when he throws, the ball has a like, it looks almost like a cutter. It has this little sweeping action. What it does, it keeps Leading the hitters from hitting Santa it off Antonio. the barrel of bat. A that very effective pitch, Sammy. but a very difficult pitch to command. Sergeant. Now at the plate, Sammy Sargent. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Whoa, that misses that. one and two. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Oh, and a big curveball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for second. the visitors in this one. Third what do we need to know about these Double. guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Focusing on this lineup, Matt, one thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep. But I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lays Whoa, off the slider, and it's 1 and 1. Hey, great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. A ball and two strikes now. The 1 2. Liner toward right center. And now a diving effort, but this is off the center fielder's glove. Throw into second, but he'll be in there with a double. 
Man, that's always tough. He was a strike away from striking out base. two in a row, but he got Robert. a little careless and caught too what? much of the plate there. It gets ripped for a one-out extra base hit, and he's got some work to do now to get out of this one. <coughs> Standing in now, Robert White, as yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Now the 1-0 is a fastball taken high for a ball. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three-hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Batting four. Every manager and every baseman. pitcher in the league Tyler loves to play with an Austin. early lead, and they've got one here. Back-to-back -back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. <coughs> Here's Tyler Austin now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. White, the runner at second with one away. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Moving under it, Sato. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away that now. Fit. The center fielder, number 12. Stepping up to the plate, number 12. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the first coming up. San Antonio's out in front. One to nothing. Peralta, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now with the plate, Nelson Chin. He'll lead things off here in the bottom and half of the first. For the Storm Chasers, the first baseman, Nelson Pitch on the way. Chin. And he gets ahead 0-1. The wind up and the 0 1. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. The 
into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting Batting lineup. Second. Mark, what do you have Not on this group stop. in front of the home Stuffer. crowd tonight? Yeah, Matty, a lot of professional at-bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. Stepping in, number two. First trip to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Slow roller left side. Zapata over to his left. And quickly there are two away. Batting third, the center fielder, Curtis McCauley. Coming to the plate now, Curtis McCauley. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. The pitch. A ball and no strikes. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped up. And the catch is made right on top of the pitcher's mound for the third out. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The missions lead it one to nothing. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. Leading off for San Antonio. The left fielder, Ben Gamble. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, seven. kept his hands the back, right stayed through the baseball, Jeremy. and delivers a hard hit line Hot drive. Hit. <laughs> Into the box now, Jeremy Hawkins. Swinging a ball, hit softly on the ground. Here comes the 0-1. Liner towards second. In there, a base hit. Batting eight. The shortstop, Tyler Saladino. Striding in, Tyler Saladino. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole, oh, and two. Gamble over at second. Hawkins on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. Batting nine. And Manning's second base today is a guy with one of the quickest hands in the game. That's the name of the game over at second base. It's not about range. It's not about arm strength. It's about turning every double play for your pitching staff, making the routine play, and making sure every two is turned. 
Ready now, Reggie Humphreys, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Number two, ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Boy, he the showed bat. some pretty good range the heading hitter. pretty deep into the Jimmy. outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box, Sammy Sargent. A curveball hit right back at him. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. San Antonio's out in front, one to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Bonifacio. And got he set to lead off the chasers. home half of the second. The right fielder. Pitch on the way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You gotta grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Count remains at 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. Again, he sends it out of play. The 0-2 once more. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The next 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Boy, that was a strange A-B right there, d Batting Seven fifth. pitch, the o designated at hitter. that gets the first Pedro. two strikes, then on the seven Melendez. pitch, disaster for the pitcher. Yeah, you'll see that happen about five to ten times all year. You're in straight survival mode, fouling off everything and found the hole. In now, Pedro Aye. Melendez as he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. The 0-2 delivery, and he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Another 0-2 coming. Now this is on the ground at first. We'll see if they can get two. One there to Austin for the double play. Batting six. That's one of the hardest oh, double plays to turn right there because Joe. of the difficult throw Say the first Joe. baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Stepping in now, Charles Sato, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Hey, down 0-2, he better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Fouled away. <coughs> now another.
another 0 2. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Two out, nobody on. Hit to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Boy, D. Rowe, this looked seven. like one of those the easy third one, two, three innings. Next thing you know, a little swinging ground ball and a two out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs, but now we see traffic at first. Standing in now, number 47, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. Ball cool, one. That's inside. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Gamble is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Digging in for his second at bat, Domingo Zapata. He'll try to follow up the, the double baseman. in his last at bat Domingo. with another big hit right here. Zapata. Now the pitch. Zero. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Yeah, Maddie, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. The 0-1. Popped up. Number 47 has a play. One down. Now batting. Second baseman. Robert White. At the plate, Robert White. Here comes the first pitch. Liner towards second. And that's the second out. Oh, now man, you can't hit a ball any harder baseman. than that. I mean, Tyler. this ball gets on him in a Austin. heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Standing in, Tyler Austin. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's one and one. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. the inning Andrew and Susa, and well, they'll the need him to get something going here the catcher Andrew Sousa first pitch on its way ah. in there no balls and a strike the wind up and the 0 1 Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. The 1 1. 
There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Hit out towards second. White is there. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting ninth, the second baseman, Chris Wood. At the plate, Chris Wood. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Nope. A fastball here as he'll take a look ball at ball one, no one, one and oh. Popped him up. Austin in foul ground. And he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, the first baseman, Nelson. Chin. Coming to the plate now, Nelson Chin. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Aye. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So striding in, number 12 comes into this at bat 0 for, for 1 in the ball game. The center fielder, number 12. First delivery to him on the way. Ooh, right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Good waste pitch, one and two. One and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and the show batter. you the pitch speed comparison the for the two starters ben. here in the fourth inning. Gamble. And you can see there both guys getting it up into the 90s, 92 and 94 respectively. Digging in, Ben Gamble, a base hit in his first trip. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Hard hit towards center. And that's in for a base hit, his second in as many trips to the plate. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Now, bad. As we take another look right here, fielder. you can see it's a two-seam fastball running away Puck from him in. at the plate. So he does this smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it, just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. Into the box now, Jeremy Hawkins. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for one after a single his first time up.
Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making 13. pitches all around Short the stop. zone, and then you Tyler. bring that one inside. Saladino. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. And here's Tyler Saladino. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the 0-1. And this will be fouled away. Two out here and a runner at second. And this one's in the dirt. <coughs> Good job there as the count goes to one and two. The one-two pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So striding forward now, number two, and he sets off, lead us off the in the home chasers, half of the fourth inning. The shortstop, number two. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Whoa, and he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. Two and 2-0 oh now. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Now the 2-0. Grounded back up the middle. Saladino is right there. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. The batter. Man, there's just the no excuse fielder. for a middle infielder to make a play like that. Nick Colley. Especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Into the box, Curtis McCauley, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. <coughs> These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, hard of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. Behind 0-2 now. From the stretch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it, the center fielder. He's got it one away. Now batting, the right fielder, Jorge Bonifacio. Into the box now, Jorge Bonifacio. He reached on a single in his first try. Here's the first pitch to him. Aye. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Runners on first with one down. Aye. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One ball, two strikes. Maybe now. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. The batter. The designated hitter. Pedro Melendez. Next will be the designated hitter, Pedro Melendez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. More of a comfortable side from the left side. Puts the ball in play. More of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up being a natural left-handed hitter.
first pitch coming. Here it is. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Skied down the left field line. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning, but a man left stranded. We played four full. The missions lead it one to nothing. So stepping in, Leading Reggie Humphreys. He flew out in the his catcher. last at bat. Reggie Humphreys. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Left side, but well foul. Hard hit toward the hole. And that'll get on through into left for a leadoff single. Adapt and persevere. That's what I always said on the offensive side. Now Down in the count right there. Batter better. hits a ground ball the yeah, other man. way. He's able to fight oh, off a tough count and get himself a base hit. Stepping in now. Sammy Sargent. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Humphreys gets his lead at first. Nobody out. The 1-1 one, one home is taken for strike two. Sent out to straightaway center field. McCauley is there, one away. Now batting, third baseman, Domingo Zapata. Digging in, Domingo Zapata. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. He's set. Here it comes. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, I know what he was thinking there. The pitch before was way out of the zone, and he was hacking. So the pitcher says, hey, if he's going to swing at that, how about this? Solid strategy, except this time it didn't work out, and it's a wild pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. The one, two. This one's flared off to the right side. Bonifacio ranging forward. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batting, the second baseman. Striding Robert. in once again, Robert White. White. One for two with a double on his line thus far.
Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Whoa, and that misses right downstairs for a ball, one and one. One and two. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, one one, might as well fish a little bit further. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Let me finish what I'm doing, huh? Can I do that? I'm playing triple A baseball. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Uh oh. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay, throw to second, but he's in there. As also on the play, a run comes now across to score. The first baseman, Tyler. This thing left his bat. I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. In now, Tyler Austin, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two out here and a runner at second. Eight. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. Eight. Two and two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three two pitch links him up for strike three. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. San Antonio's out in front, two to nothing. Settling in now, Charles Sato. They'll start things and out here in the home the fifth, and chaser. it's been tough sledding for the this lineup fielder. through the first half Charles. of the game. Yeah, they haven't Thank had you. any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well.
first pitch on its way. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Now batting. Number 47. Into the box now. Number 47. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now batting, the catcher, Andrew Sousa. So coming to the plate, Andrew Susak. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. <laughs> First offering on its way. Aye. Right there for strike one. Fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bullpen the way this guy's pounding the zone. Still no balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Gamble racing back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That's what good hitters do. You get a pitch you like, and you just the explode base, on it. He blasted Rick. that one over the left Whoa. fielder's head for an easy double. Into the box now, Chris Wood. He'll roll over it and send it to shortstop. To his left, Saladino. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Striding into the box, number 12. Been a strikeout victim twice Antonio, in this one. The center fielder, number 12. First pitch coming, here it is. And he lays off there, 1-0. That curveball stayed up in the zone. You'll see that often early in the game where a pitcher's trying to find that release point, particularly with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he's able to settle down as this game moves on. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Aye. 
changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Nope. And that misses two and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it Left seems field. we're seeing that a ben lot more these days. Gamble. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Standing in now, Ben Gamel. As the first pitch well, misses awesome. to him, it's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1-0. He is taken strike one. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate, that's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. It looked like the fastball got away from him there, it's ball two. Here now the two-two. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Gamble is retired. Two right down field, now. Number 14. Jeremy. Hawkins. Digging in to try it again. Jeremy Hawkins. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. The high fastball is in there. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off for ball one. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. But that is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. The one-two. And he popped him up, number 47, in foul ground. And no one will track it down. The one-two is a fastball that misses. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but, boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Here now the two-two is laid off, and the count runs full. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Leading off the inning, and Nelson Chin, the as they'll chasers. look to get something going here and even man. this game up. Things Nelson. not looking very good so far in this Chin. one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ball called for strike two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. The 
The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Pitch is popped up. Peralta is there for it. One out. Now batting. Number two. Standing in, number two. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. The 1 0 delivery. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Saladino ranges back and he has it for out number two. The batter, the center fielder, Curtis McCauley. Stepping into the box, Curtis McCauley, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fly ball out toward left center field. Gamble is after it, but he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now batting, right fielder, Jorge. And that'll bring up, up Jorge Bonifacio. And now following the two-out double, he's got a chance to drive in a run here. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. One ball, no strikes the count. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning coming up. The missions lead it two to nothing. Back for Pacific Coast League action on MLB Network. We're off to the seventh inning now, but first let's have a look at our game summary to see how we got here. Ladies Prince and gentlemen, Weinstein your attention, is on please. the pitch from the bullpen now, now to start inning number for seven. Your Omaha Storm Chasers, number three, Prince Weinstein. Now in the box, Tyler Saladino. He's Reading hoping to avoid the hat Antonio. trick. He struck out the in each of his first two plate Tyler appearances so far. Saladino. Here's the first pitch to him. To short. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The catcher, number 33, Reggie Humphreys. Stepping into the box, Reggie Humphreys. He singled his last time up. Now here's the pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Weinstein playing here in his age 26 season. He throws a four seam fastball, a two seamer, a curve, and a slider. The wind up and the 0 1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Love the ability to push that ball the other way now right there. Nice knock the to the opposite hitter. field. That's a switch Jimmy. hitter's delight. The ability to Sergeant. use all parts. Into the box, Sammy Sargent, yeah, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. <laughs> 
He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Yeah. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. One and one, here it is. Down low, two balls and a strike. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Humphreys, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Hey. And the good fastball there hey. finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Right down Main Street, caught him looking. Now batting, third baseman. Stepping Domingo. up now, Domingo Zapata. Zapata. Here comes the first pitch. Inside wow. with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. The one one taken, strike two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. center and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Humphreys is on his way home. The relay and he'll scramble back to the bag and be there safely. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. The hey second Dero, that's a big RBI Robert. right there to stretch this One. lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. In now, Robert White, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. So far, two for three in this one. The 0-1 on its way. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. now I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his Tyler. third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Stepping in now, Tyler Austin, right. as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the 0-1. Ball one. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. 
This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. Now the 2-1 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. McCauley ranging back to the track. Gone! Go! So a two-run shot to left center. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rearview mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason your to be even please. more mad. George now Perez enters Omaha, now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the Number deficit 24. right where it is. George. Perez. Now batting. Standing in now, number, number 12. 12. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. It could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Now nice base hit. Are fielder. you kidding me? Ben he had already had the hat Gamble. track. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, No dice. Into the box now, Ben Gamble, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Has a look, now the pitch. Line hard. Foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Bonifacio's under it. And that retires the side. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. San Antonio's out in front. Six to nothing. Leading off the inning, Pedro Melendez, and, off, and they'll the need him to get chasers. something going here. It doesn't hitter. look very promising Pedro. so far in this one as we Melendez. move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and there's ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Saladino shading to his right makes the play one away. Now batting left fielder Charles Sato. Ready for another chance Charles Sato.
first pitch coming here it is and he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat it's one and oh one out nobody on That's lays off the fastball the way and it's two and oh now when you've got a six run lead out there there's no reason not to go right at guys you have to keep attacking the zone and he fouls this one off the two one hit on the ground to third throw in time at first for route number two not a lot now you batting. can do with that pitch. Number that fastball 47. just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Ready once again, number 47. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball oh, well outside. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. towards center field and that will conclude matters here in the seventh Dick Jeremy Hawkins he looked to bounce back Antonio. after striking out his the last right time up yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. The 0-1 on its way. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Nope, Lays off that time, and it's 1-2. and two. That's great recognition right there on the part of the hitter. Not many guys lay off that one. That was a classic strikeout pitch. The 0-2 good change up with some depth. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Man, this head bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. Two and two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this bat, point, and the telling 13. numbers can be found Short on the stop. left side of your screen. Tyler. Zeros in the Salad run Dino. and earned run columns. Digging in now, Tyler Saladino. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. A no, ball and no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes a cold strike one. one. Two ball and one. Inside, ball two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Oh, 
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. He'll try it again, three and two. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. The Not the game he was hoping to have when he was Reggie. taking batting practice, Humphrey. but at least his guys are ahead. In now, Reggie Humphreys as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's two for three thus far. The 1-0. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. Around first, digging for two. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now batting. Designated hitter, Sammy Sargent. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Sammy Sargent. A great opportunity for him here in a run scoring spot, now following the two out double. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center, but he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Nearly trouble, but instead, the inning is over. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Andrew Susan and he doubled off. earlier the in the game. Chaser. One for two to the this catcher. point. Starting to Andrew. run out of time. They haven't been able to score Susan. any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect That's time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Now the one and one pitch. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. The one-two. High in the air out to center field. Under it is the center fielder. One out. Now batting. The second baseman, Chris Wood. At the plate, Chris Wood. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. The batter, the first baseman, Nelson Chin. Stepping in, Nelson Chin. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. 
Here comes the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll leave after a strong seven and two thirds here as he'll hope the bullpen can get the final four outs to secure his victory. Your Diego attention, please. Morbone enters now here looking to get the San final Antonio. out before the ninth Number inning. Number one, Diego Borbone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right back at him and off his glove. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. Now batting. Number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number two. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. This is line to left. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He pulls in the third safely. There's a run will score on the play as well. Yeah, it might only be a drop in the ocean, but every now run that is better field this big. That triple gets them within Mick five Pauley. runs, so we'll see if they can keep chipping away here. Into the box, Curtis McCauley. No. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Ninth inning coming up. The missions lead it 6-1. to one. Now to the plate, Domingo Zapata. He's Leading two for four San in the Antonio, ball game. The third baseman, Domingo Zapata. Here comes the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Take a look at this right here. He didn't get jumpy and try and pull it down the now left best. field line. The Stayed in base. there, fought Robert. hard, and grinded out what? a nice knock the other way. Stepping in now, Robert White. Seared down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. The 0 1, and he misses with it 1 and 1. Here's the one and one delivery. Bat explodes as this is popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Now that is so now the be first base hole hitter, Tyler, Tyler Austin. And he's coming Austin. off a two-run homer his last time around. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's now pitch. Batting. Tyler Austin number goes 12. down for out number two in the top of the ninth. Standing in now, number 12. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. This is line to left, and that's in there, base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front side in. Not now easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw ben the front side and Gamble. hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. In now, Ben Gamble. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Sato is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. San Antonio's out in front, six to one. Into the box, Jorge Bonifacio do up for the four, five, and, and six up. hitters, well, and they're hoping that this is the part of the, the lineup right that can get something Jorge. going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Oh, and one the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The and batter, there's a final 15. look at the numbers for Designated the starter in hitter. this one. He was on Pedro. point from the get go this Melendez. evening. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. Off a ball and no ball strikes. Ball. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. The 1-1 one, one is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Now Kept his batting. hands inside Left the fielder. baseball and ripped the base Sorrow. hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher Thank right you. there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. Oh, that one right up the middle. Charles Sato comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Line drive to left. But this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Now batting. Number 47. 
So digging in now, number 47. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Hawkins is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. Anytime you and can the win visiting a game, San Antonio road, Missions you have to feel really good about yourself. Wins it. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. The Missions slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Freddie Peralta is the winning pitcher of record. Number 32 takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Our final line score, first for the victorious missions, six runs, 15 hits, one error, they left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. And so tonight's ball game wraps up in a 6-1 victory of the San Antonio Missions wrapping up this second game here tonight. Well, tomorrow afternoon is the third of this four-game series with the San Antonio Missions and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Don't forget, we will wrap up our four-game series on Monday morning as we will have a 11.05 a.m. game. Missions are returning home after Monday. They will be home on Tuesday. They'll take on the or Wednesday. Yeah, they'll be home Wednesday. Tuesday will be the travel day for the San Antonio Missions as they will head back home and play a seven-game homestand between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. So this will just about do us here for us tonight as this ball game comes to an end. Freddie... Peralta will take the win for San Antonio. And Jesse Hahn will take the loss for the Storm Chasers. Well, this would just about do us for tonight. For everybody here, San Antonio will tie this ball game and its series in this four-game set. Well, 6-1, to one, San Antonio wins this one. Six runs on 15 hits, one error for San Antonio. Omaha will take one run on seven hits and no errors. Well, this will just about do it for AAA baseball. Hope everybody has a good and awesome night. And we'll see you again for AAA Baseball again in tomorrow afternoon at 2.05.